Hi there, welcome to Bite Me, the cooking show where student hunger is solved. All right, let's get started on this recipe. Let's do it. Well, we all know that summer we've got fewer classes, which means we've got more time to party. More partying means more drinking. And drinking means hangovers. Especially with those non-alcoholic mojito mocktails we made last episode. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Well, we've got the perfect solution for that. We've got a solution for those late morning hangovers. So, we're going to prepare with you guys a strawberry chocolate crepes. Sweet and delicious. Just like me. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Here are the ingredients you'll need. Three large eggs. One and a half cups of flour. One and a half cups of skim milk. Four tablespoons of melted butter. One tablespoon of vanilla. Two tablespoons of sugar. A quarter teaspoon of salt. And for that sweet, fruity finish, strawberries and bananas. And don't forget the most important bit, the chocolate. Alrighty, so right here in our bowl, we've got uh, our cup and a half of flour. So we're gonna take another bowl and we're gonna make the wet mixture. So to start off, we're gonna add in our one and a half cups of skim milk. We're gonna add in the egg yolks of the three eggs, right there. Next up, we're gonna add in some sugar. Two tablespoons of sugar. A pinch of salt. And our four tablespoons of butter. Last but not least, we're gonna add in one teaspoon of vanilla. Alrighty, so now that we've got all our ingredients in there, our next step is to whisk it all up. After we've got that, after we've got it all perfectly blended together, we're gonna bring over our bowl of flour. Now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna have a little well in the middle of the bowl. So what we're gonna do is that once we have that well, we're gonna add it into the middle. So yeah, we've got that perfectly blended and on to the next step. And now to cook the crepes. First of all, we've got a pan right over here. Um, it's over medium heat, so we're gonna crank up that we're gonna crank up the heat right here. We're gonna add in a little bit of butter. So now that it's all heated up, we're gonna add in our batter. So generally speaking, um, a quarter of our mixture is good. Because if we add in too much, then we're gonna be making pancakes with that thick consistency. Generally speaking, a minute per side is good. You wanna make sure that it's brown all around and even in the middle of the crepe, so that's when you know it's cooked. Now, this is the important step. We are going to gently flip over our crepe. Beautiful. Look at that. You want that nice golden color. Mm -hmm. You want that thin layer. Yeah. Remember, this is crepes and not pancakes. Exactly. So I think we've got this and it's all nice and perfect and I think it's all cooked up. Let's put it on a plate. Alrighty, so now that our crepe is cooked, we removed it from the pan and we added it, we put it on a plate. Now for my favorite, favorite part, we're gonna add in the strawberries and the chocolate spread. A nice generous amount <laughs> of our chocolate spread and we're just gonna spread it after that, we're gonna add in the fresh strawberries. For all of you fruit lovers out there, this is optional. If you'd like, you can add in bananas. So right now, we're just gonna get to folding it all over. So special technique, you fold it quarter way and then over to make it a cone. Yeah, look Just at like that. that, beautiful. And there we have it, sweet and delicious. And as you guys can see, uh, we walked the extra mile and we added to it some stuff. Like we added some whipped cream and we just made it a little more garnished up. Mm. Shall we see what the students think of our delicious crepe with that little whipped cream on top? <sighs> I don't know, I kinda wanna eat it all by myself. <laughs> Girl, not before I eat it first. <laughs> so, how was that first bite? Very tasty. Delicious, really good. Delicious. Do you have any recommendations to make it better? A little more whipped cream. Cinnamon? More fruit, perhaps. Was that like love at first bite right there? Pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. Well, I had a wonderful time on Bite Me this summer. <laughs> me too. I've had a great time with all the wonderful recipes. Wonderful, fast, easy, and cheap recipes. Well, Marmar, I hope we can do this again in the future. Girl, I would totally love that. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed Bite Me this summer. And please find us on Facebook and on Twitter. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And please do enjoy the rest of your summer. And see you in the fall. Thanks, Thanks for watching. For watching. <laughs>